Do the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean mix? Photos show what looks like a line between the Atlantic and Pacific with different water colors on either side, but is there some kind of barrier or do the two oceans mix? A handful of videos on YouTube and TikTok have been racking up likes by showing a strange line in the ocean with dark water on one side, lighter on the other side. Lines like this often appear where rivers or glaciers feed the ocean, but these popular videos also claim that these lines show a boundary between the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean, and then use this as evidence to claim that the two oceans do not mix. But this is actually, is it true? Or do the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans mix? The short answer is yes, the waters are constantly mixing, said Nadine Ramirez, an oceanographer at the University of Concepcion in Chile. The Pacific and Atlantic mix at different speeds in different places, and climate change may actually be changing those speeds. Imagine watching a spiral of cream dissolve into coffee. The liquid mixes, but slowly, that's approximately what's happening in pictures that show a line between different ocean waters. On one side, the water may be saltier, cleaner or colder, and it takes time to average out those differences. To speed things up, imagine stirring that coffee vigorously. The cream dissolves much faster. That's what happens in the ocean with strong winds and big waves. The Pacific and Atlantic mix faster in some places than the others. Uh, the two oceans meet there uh, near the southern tip of South America, where the continent crumbles into a constellation of small islands. Between those islands, the water is relatively slow, and the Strait of Magellan is one popular route through. In the, uh, big, the Beagle Channel, water from melting glaciers creates lines between fresh water and salt water that look a bit like the lines in, in the YouTube videos. The Strait of Magellan is another popular route through where the strait empties in the Atlantic. Ramirez said there is a line that is less visible to the eye, but that oceanographers can spot with measurements. On their graphs, you can see a blue tongue of water in the Atlantic, he said, and that water which flows from the Pacific is different because the Pacific gets more rain, so it's less salty, but it stays separated for just for a while. Ramirez said, and then storms and waves blur the line. In the open ocean between South America and Antarctica, the boundary between the Pacific and Atlantic is famously choppy. The Drake Passage is known for waves that can reach 60 feet tall. That improves the mix, Ramirez said. Waters also mix in the ocean's depths. Daily tides drag water back and forth across a bumpy seafloor, said Casimir de la Verge a researcher at Sorbonne University in the French National Center for Scientific Research, CNRS. That causes a lot of turbulence, he said. But waters from the different sources can also move around the oceans without mixing much at all. The ocean is like a cake with different layers, Ramirez explained, but the layers are water, and these layers, which have different properties based on where the water came from, are called clines. In the middle layer, away from the surface and the seafloor, the waters mix more slowly because there is less turbulence. Ocean researchers differentiate between mixing and exchanging water. Mixing means that the waters are irreversibly transformed. When light cream swirls into dark coffee, it's fully mixed once the whole drink is the same color. On the other hand, you can exchange water masses without necessarily causing any real mixing of their properties, he said. Thanks to global currents, the Pacific and Atlantic exchange water constantly. A strong current around Antarctica's southern ocean pulls water clockwise through the Drake Passage from the Pacific to the Atlantic. It also pulls water from the ocean's ocean basis and then re-injects it. Another current moves the water from the Pacific through the Indian Ocean and around the tip of South Africa to feed the Atlantic from the other direction. Water is always mixing at the edges of these currents, but because the different layers do not mix completely, oceanographers can track different packets of water as they move around the globe. And now, de la Verge said, human-caused climate change is slowly slowing these currents. 
It seems to have already started, especially around Antarctica, he said. Cold, salty water sinks, accelerates, and powers northern bound currents, but the poles are warming. warming. Warmer, fresher water from melting ice sheets does not sink as much, so the exchange of water will slow. The water mixing speed seems to be slowing down as well, Laverge said, and that's because when ocean clines differ more from one another, they take longer to average out. As ice sheets melt, the density difference between the surface waters and the deep waters is increasing, he said. These shifts are expected to change how the ocean cycle oxygen and nutrients with impacts on sea life, but the oceans will never stop mixing or exchanging water entirely as long as there are some winds and some tides, De La Verge said, there's going to be mixing, there are going to be currents. And this is on Live Science by Meg Duff. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.